Hey everybody, welcome back. I just wanted to come at you guys tonight and talk about certain shows, reality shows, anything on Lifetime, just anything that honestly that I've been watching for like the past week or so and some things I want to talk about, laugh about with you guys and some things may make us cry. I don't know about on camera, but um, I just want to discuss some things with y'all and let's just see a little of what we may have in common or do we watch the same things during the week. So, I want to start off with the first reality show, The Way It Is. Oh, I love Keisha Cole, but I am in love with her mom. I love Frankie. Frankie, if you're listening, ma ma ma, you are just like the most down to earth, good to kick it with mama I know. Um, I really feel that Frankie is misunderstood. Um, I guess because, you know, we all have someone in our family that's been somewhere and they're trying to make it right or they're trying to do right and people still throw in their face of what they used to do. And I can understand that sometimes that could bring you down or could bring you back to your old life of your old way of thinking and I just feel she is like the realest person on the show. She says how she feels. Last week I was in the bed crying and rolling all at the same time. She was on the phone with Keisha Cole's foster mother and um, Keisha Cole's foster mother was like, Frankie we need to talk and she was like, about what? And she was like, uh, can you tell me what's about? And she was like, we need to talk about change. She said, oh, well, then that's not today. We ain't talking about change today. And I mean, I was just like rolling. Frankie is just real. She was straight up letting me know how she felt. She was like, look, there's no need for us to fake and shake. We're not about to be friends. And I was just like, wow. Like, what other way to be than not honestly tell a person that, we ain't going to be good. Cool. You know, if that's just the way you feel, she just told that was up and just like, okay, move on. Next question. So I am really enjoying Frankie on the way it is. I'm praying for that family because that is definitely something that could go on in real life right now as we speak. But um, I'm just glad that Keisha has opened her, you know, her life up for other people to see that. So... That is my first show I want to talk about. So if y'all haven't checked it out, please check it out the way it is with Keisha Cole and family. Okay. So the next show. Um, this next is not a reality show. It's a show that it was about a lady. Her name is Ruby on Lifetime. Uh, this lady weighed like over 700 pounds and she's really trying to lose weight. And um, it really just touch me how, you know, everybody has their own struggle in something. It could be shopping. It could be, you know, you want to stop smoking. It could be um, just um, drink too much caffeine. I mean, it could be anything. And this lady is really trying to live. And Ruby really touched my heart because, you know, I know how hard it is sometimes for me to get out there on the track and, you know, do my thing. And I'm just like, oh. Uh. And then she's like way bigger than me. So for her... To get out there and say she will not give up. She will get on a diet. And people, I love these. So it's hard for me to, I'm not going to lie, it's hard for me to eat right. So for her, I'm just going to tell her I will be praying for her. And just keep up the good work. And I hope you make it. So that's a show I want to talk about. Um, it's a show on HBO. It's called Section 60. <sighs> I think I cried through the whole one hour and a half session. It's about all the people that have died in Iraq. And it was it's a certain place that they bury them and their family. It's like a cemetery. And their family come out there like on different dates. Uh, maybe it's their anniversary, birthday. And I just sat up there and this is like crying. I mean, I just feel their pain. You know, I don't have anyone that's in Iraq. My best friend is there now. And I just, I don't even want to think about it. But, you know, a lot of those people, you know, their kids never met their dad. Or it was one guy, I mean, I really boohoo for him. I think they said for the first week, he went out there every day and cried and just drunk his liquor. And then after that, he just stopped drinking. 
And he just went out there every day when they opened the cemetery gates and got his lawn chair, got his, uh, you know, his blanket, set up the flag, and just laid there next to his son like all day until they closed the cemetery doors. And I was just like, wow. I just, oh, I just don't want to to imagine that, I just, but I definitely felt their pain. So to anybody out there that's, you know, lost somebody in the war or they're there, I just want to tell you personally that I am still praying for you and your family because, you know, they doing something that a lot of us are not doing and that's fighting for our country or they have died for our country and I salute them. So. I'll be definitely praying for you and your family if anyone that's listening right now has lost someone. I watched that show, and if anyone of y'all have HBO, if you can take it, I would watch it. It's very, very, very interesting. So that's another show you should look at. Um, another show that I've watched um, tonight was 60 Minutes. Uh, it's not a reality show or anything, but um, the first interview with our president, if you guys haven't watched that, please get the rewind, go on YouTube and rewatch it again. It was great. It was great. It was great. So, you guys, you definitely got to see the Obama interview tonight. So, watch that. Get, get in with your president, people. 2008, change. Anyway, moving on. Um, another reality show, Charm School. I don't know. I just wish that these ladies just get it together. I mean, I'm not here to down anybody on this show, but, oh, it's just so much backstabbing. I just hope the right person wins the money as the charm school for, you know, the girls from Flavor Flav. Um, I really think the girl that won, she deserved it. So I hope the same for the person on um, this one for the Brett Michaels charm school. So, ladies, to you, good luck. Um, the ones that are left, that is. Um, next, I would like to say I am. I really do like um, Hugh Hefner, the girl next door. I love Kendra. She's so down to earth. She's really a sporty girl. Uh, Holly, um, I like her as well. She's like always trying to make things, sure things are together. And Bridget, excuse me, she's definitely a go-getter. She's in school. She's um, trying to do things after every after her life, you can say, with the play, play, uh, play mansion or whatever. But a uh, big shout out to those ladies. Hey, Kendra, and I just read, um, congratulations on your engagement, girl. Go on now. So, big shout out to the girls next door. So, let's see. What is another reality show that's been on? Real Chance of Love. <sighs> mm. Um, all I can say is I hope they find what they want. So I really think that if I was on that show, which I'm too shy to go on a show like that, but if I was, I probably would want to be with someone like real because it seems like he's more of a settle down type. And Chance probably would have me out in the club every night <laughs> instead of at home. But, um... I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't think I would ever go on a, on a, real, a reality show like that. But I would go on a show, show like Blush Ladies. If you haven't seen that show, go check it out. It's all about the makeup artist. And um, I was talking to Golden Child, and she was telling me that I needed to watch it. I seen clips, and from what she was saying, some parts was just a hot mess. So um, I definitely would get into that. So. Um, if y'all have some more insight on blush, let me know now because um, I'm just lost on a lot of uh, that with blush, but I heard it's going good. But my favorite show of all time is the Food Network because I love to cook and I like to learn new things. But the favorite, my favorite show on the Food Network is the Neelys. The Nellies, the Neelys. Oh, I just love them together. Y'all see how they be working that meat in the kitchen? Huh? I just 
love their personality. I love the way they bring food to the table. I love the way that they bring love to the kitchen. I mean, I just love them. Um, I love their uh, Mama Neely Sakatimi cake. I'll probably make that on Tuesday for my coworkers. Um, but from my understanding, it is on the back of the Duck and Hines box. So if y'all have a the yellow golden Duck and Hines box, Look on the back of that, and they have that Sakatimi cake uh, recipe. So, But I love them on the Food Network. So if you guys watch Food Network, you can also check them out as well. So that's everything I want to talk about. So I just want to say big shout-out to Ruby. Good luck on losing the weight. Um, I salute everybody that lost someone in the Army on Section 60. Um, big shout-out to Keisha Cole. The way it is. Love you, Frankie. Holla. Anyway, but, um, and to everybody on the Food Network, love y'all too. Keep the recipes coming because the holidays are around the corner. And the girls next door, just everybody that's out there doing their thing and have us laughing from time to time on reality or real life stories. So, I love you guys and I will see you on tomorrow. Bye.